You have less than three months to go. Good job, baby! I'm slowly dying. My foot hurts. Ah! It's an obvious injury. Rob, for you it's possible and for you Arnold. Today we have 60 kilometers on the bike. Let's go. It's cold. We're training. Hey! <laughs> Keep on training. Almost seven kilometers in. Feeling good. Just saw Arno. <laughs> he was driving by. <laughs> let's go. Because I'm a kid. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm stretching today. Not flexible. It do be beautiful -er than you. We got 40 kilometers on the on the Swift. Look at all that sweat. I'm going to the fitness to run on a treadmill because I'm bougie. Today, I don't know anymore. Again on the pain machine. 80 kilometers. That's a shitload of kilometers. 15 November, second run of the week. Going well, except one feet keeps going asleep. It's fucked up. Shitty weather. My ankle hurts a lot. I think I'm uh, overbelast because I'm too fat and sporting too much at once. I was feeling a little bit sick today. I almost puked three times, but I really want to finish my training. Oh my Jesus. <coughs> Frederick told me, unless I have a fever, I can go do sports, but I don't have a fever. <coughs> I want to train and I can't train. I don't feel it. I don't. Does it work? It's really fucking with my head. How could I go this out of shape and didn't see it? I didn't realize it. I want to make this. It's. I want to make this. I will make this. I'm sure bullets. Let's fucking do it. Training day with my big brother, Charles. There's a lot of headwind. We're only going 20 kilometers an hour and I'm tired. So much work to do. The dream is to hear the words, Rob, you are an Iron Man. That's the goal. So cool. 70 to 80 kilometers to go. I have such a long way to go. I've seen. I just started my first 16k, it's super windy. Let's go. This is the furthest I've ever run, so I need to run it chill. I've been listening to podcasts, it's really relaxing. And then on the other side you're suffering. 42 kilometers seems so far off. I think I just physically can't. My knees would break. And let's go, we're training, so we can do it. Yes. 16k. <sighs> Tough. Still need to train more, do my best because of 42k come after 180k of biking and 3.8k of swimming, so I will be destroyed the next day. Putain, guys, I have some bad news. Ever since I did that 16k, fucking 16k, my foot has been hurting from when I wake up until I go back to sleep. Everybody was telling me, like, chill, the workload, you're gonna get injured. I was like, no, 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 I'm superhuman, it doesn't happen to me. Guess what? It happened to me. I can't run. I cannot do more than two kilometers and it fucking pisses me off. My running is probably my worst discipline and I need to get good at it. And now that my foot is fucked, I'm gonna get behind on schedule. I'm gonna go to the kine now and see what he tells me because uh, we need to fix this. In Belgium we say, putain de merde, sa mère la rende put. And that's my foot. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. If you're not motivated, uh, you can go home. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yay, training. Again. Yeah. So I have issue on my foot. My breath hurts here. And when I press it, it hurts a little bit. So I don't know if it's kaput or if it's... <laughs> can you uh, pull your toe towards you? Mm -hmm. So it's not the big tendon. Swimming and biking, I don't feel anything. It's only when there's like a impact, then my foot hurts. And it's every impact? So every step you, you put on well, the ground? The first two kilometers, I don't really feel it, but then I feel like something's not right. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Chances are very high that it's an overused injury. Overused injuries occur when you have to do a lot of physical activity when you're not used to it oh. and the body complains a bit. Everybody warned us for this. <laughs> And do you think uh, I can fix it? Yeah, everything is fixable. We just have to wait for the medical imaging to know what the best treatment will be. All right, so we're at the hospital today. I hope it's not a fracture. Come on, pray for me. Let's go. This guy's at... Uh, I'm a radiologist. Voet expert. Ooit al een voet moeten afzagen of zo? Nee, oké. Maar ik doe geen behandeling. Ik doe alleen diagnose. Ah, this guy zegt de voet moet eraf. Ja, ja, ik zeg de voet moet eraf en iemand anders die voet eraf. Ah, ja, oké, oké. Kom maar mee. Allee. Dus we gaan eens kijken. Hè. Heb je dat al gezien? Wat dat ja, 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 tuurlijk. tuurlijk, tuurlijk. Ja, ik... Als je zo niet echt gewoond hebt, veel te sporten. En ik weet zo ineens toch voor zo'n zware inspanning. Ik denk je aan stressfracturen ja, of stressfenomenen. Ja, ja. En dat is eigenlijk niet het geval. Ah, dus okay, dat is niet het zo. geval. En dat je vreef van je voet vrij hoog zit, schuurt je eigenlijk tegen je schoeisel. Het is gewoon eigenlijk een, een, een frictie van je schoeisel over je ja. voetgewelf. En dan zien we hier dat eigenlijk aan je vreef van je voet, je weken delen, dat die eigenlijk een beetje ontstoken zijn. Ah, ja, ja, ja. Maar je voet zelf is volledig perfect. Dus niks aan mijn botten, niks aan mijn lichaam. Puur inflammatie van de oppervlakkige weken delen. Good news: there is no stress fracture. Other good news: my ligaments are not destroyed, which is very good news because if that would be the case, Iron Man, bye bye. No fracture, nothing on my ligaments. It's only just an inflammation, which means that I would be back running in two or three weeks, hopefully. And if not, I'm going to be very sad. All right, let's go back to the video. Oh, mais la patate, come on! This road, 80 kilometers, with the man, the legend. Perfect ride. Louis Talpe, the Hercules of the triathlon world. My foot is still a bit fucked. Currently riding in Innsbruck, the digital world. Look at this. Nice, huh? First 10K done. Went amazing. Wow! I had to do eight normally, but I was like, I can do 10. I was feeling good. I could go for more, but Frederick tells me chill, I chill, you know. First time training together. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to each other in pace. It's good for me that Rob hurts itself because now we can run together. I, I couldn't run because it was hurting. And today is the first time I'm running back. And I have to say, it's been three kilometers now and I don't feel it. Happy we can train together. Best day of my Number life one. training. Favorite thing in the world. Let's <laughs> see. 8.2 7.7 is good actually no pain no i feel little tickle yeah the first amount i'm surprised your weird ass construction works yeah, yeah it works huh? yeah didn't expect it i thought like um petite création uh petit bob the bower you know petite création avec les chaussures i opened it up so i don't have friction from the laces it's only 100 days until klagenfurt so we have three months this is the last sprint long sprint and then uh we're gonna do it hopefully we have to Hello, buenos dias. As you might have seen, there's not a lot of swimming footage in the video because we're not allowed to film inside the swimming pool due to privacy and stuff like that. To make up for that, we're going to train with Frey today, Nonkel Frey, the ex-world champion, and he's going to uh, give us some good training and then voilà, we covered the swimming part. Let's go. On y va, on met la patate. Come on, merci. Today, I have the planning here. 2.6 kilometer swim. We'll start with the warming up, of course. Four times 100 freestyle technical attention so try to swim as good as you can technically I will have a look okay okay alrighty all right let's go boys Michael Phelps in the building don't put on the footprints yeah, yeah I'm gonna put over my okay yeah what the fuck and the wedstrijd okay I'll take better first the and then your bad but stel that there is a national boat helper or a national then is your bad weg and then there's another one of your bad that's some good advice all right go come on You can see he has a background as a swimmer. The way he moves in the water is quite good. His arm is like next to his head. Let's go there. When you put your hand in the water, try to reach a lot further. Reach as far as you can. Okay. Six times 200, 140 per 100. For you, Arnold, two minutes per 100. And go! I'm surprised. Good job. 150 freestyle, 50 back swing. And go! Elke keer een hak, hup, en een lange leefase, en dan vast. 
How does that feel, other stroke? Not bad. Not bad? The last one, we go a little bit faster now. Nice, 117. That's good. And I'm not super tired, I'm just like, I feel it, but I'm not dead. What does the progress mean for progressing? Do you have a test? Yeah, I think so. 144. It's a good pace. You little monster. Oh, you little me. utter. I'm the midget Michael Phelps. All right, guys, now we go for a little test. 50 meter, as fast as you can. My speciality when I was young. And what do you think you can still do now? I hope under 30. I know. 40, 45. Okay. I think it's possible. Ready? On your mark, go! <laughs> if I weigh above 85 at Ironman, you can give me a brosque. Okay. Deal. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> will be just a little bit slower but that's okay. Now we have 205 and you have 208 here. Oh, shit! Fuck! 240 and it's meant to be 245 here. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Keep that pace. 1020. And uh, heart rate at the finish? 175. 175. Okay. And go. 158 and 240 per loop. 54, 55. Yes. That's it. Thank you, Frey. Iedere keer dat hij zegt dat goed is, is hij vrij content. 947. Is het goed? 1026. Ja, zo wel. 2.1. Oh, is het goed? Perfect. Ja? Ja, dat is goed. 2.5. 2.5. What's happening? So the lactate is not going up. What does it mean? That means that for now, even if you go faster, you keep the same level of lactate. So did you make progression? Of In course, you, you made a lot of progression. That oh, means really? that, yeah? Yeah, 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 the basic level is up. The base is getting bigger and that's what they need. They need a bigger base to be able to do an Ironman. Even with the small injury Rob had, you still see the progress on the low zones because of the training he has done in the last three months. Last time you went to 240 watts. Now I need to poop actually. <laughs> what, did, what happens? What happens if you have to poop during a uh, Ironman? Then you poop. Uh, you yeah. poop your pants. No, have you done no, it? No, 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 no. Toilet. Ah, toilet. Okay, okay. Huh? No, point zero. Yeah, point zero. Oh. Still flat. But that's good, right? Sure. Yeah. Same uh, yeah. as we saw on the run. We see right now on the bike. My dick is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Hello. Can I have my uh, banana energy uh, drink? Oh, you want it? Yes. Yes. I need my. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. With two hands that will be impossible on the race. Yeah, that's better. Great. <laughs> cadence, cadence up, eh? So it's intervals of five minutes, but if you can do a three minute block, it's a block. So when we move to 270, if you can go to three minutes, you can use it as a block, yeah. otherwise it's a peak. He's doing good, he's doing good. Almost two minutes into the 240. Come on, let's just need a hush lock. Come on, come on. Now we go for the three minutes, come on. As long as you can keep that cadence like that, it's okay. That's it, come on. Come on. Half a minute, half a minute, come on. Neem dat ritme mee en je pop op. Tak, 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 tak. Vier, drie. Three, eight, eight. Don't make it over. Ah, oh, man. Two hundred and six. What? What? Two hundred and six? Wait till it's your turn. Have a new max heart rate. The last minute was hell. Yeah, it was building up in the block. Yeah. It's not nice. But you did it. <laughs> I went very deep. <laughs> Two hundred six. Two hundred six heart rate is a bit abusé, right? That's higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my la patat. Why did the Arno end uh, last time? 210. Come on. Come on. Come 
<laughs> Did you eat your proteins already? No, you have to eat your proteins. But I need to take my cake, I'm sure you finish the okay? cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 18, eh? 180 to 210. Just progressive. The boy here was asking a last block. Now it's in the right? Yeah. Look how much it's still chilling. Bro, easy. Bro, easy. In one minute, you will be where you ended last time. Is there a song you want to hear? Drunk Mummy over Maria. Seven Seven Rosen. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Come on, Arno, let's go. <laughs> Everybody is proud of you. Daddy Luke, how proud are you? Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. Couldn't be prouder. Voilà. Come, Come on, on Arno. Got this. Okay. Five, three, three, eight. Yeah. Hello, yes, Willy Sommers. Yeah, I will tell him. Willy Sommers is proud of you, Arno. The Willy? Really? He's gonna change the lyrics to Seven Arnos. Oh, seven you Rosen. Are you are yeah. yeah, you gonna, you're gonna change, yes? Alright, uh, Willy, ciao, ciao. That's Willy Sommers. Yeah, that's Willy Sommers. <laughs> Willy Sommers just called. Seven Arnos, seven Arnos, what Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. Well, the conclusion of today is that there is progress for both. In Europe, you had some injury problems, so you missed some volume in the last few weeks. But the test shows us a picture of the last three months and not only of the last three weeks. So there is a nice progress. Your four millimole has moved from 9.15 to 8.57. That's close to about 10 seconds per kilometer, almost faster oh. uh, on your anaerobic threshold. So Arno, for you, you went from 8.37 to 8.29. It's a small progress, but the importance is that the progress is there. And again we see that you have been respecting the zones because you can run it with lower zones to be honest eh, in the beginning when we, we first tested you uh, Rob we said yeah for you it's possible you will be able to do a certain time and for you Arno the result is this is a lot of work yeah, to be able to get you within the 17 hours because this is the limit and today if I count a little, little bit what you're capable of doing on the bike and on the run what we see today I see 15 hours without the swim depending on how long you're going to be taking on the swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you're pretty close to that 17 hours to getting within the, the time. But you still have a lot of time to work on your condition. And that's good news because we didn't see that in your first test. Merci, man. It's an Merci. honor to do this with you guys. Endurance, there's progression. Now let's get a DEXA scan to see how our body our is body. transforming. Dude, I hope my, my dick is and it's grown. <laughs> All right, so it's been three months since we've weighed ourselves here. I'm ready to be called fat again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know okay. not to say that you have obesitas, but you have obesitas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, come on, Arno, do the Come on, come on, Arno. Last time it was 100 kilos, 106. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Right. 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 That's nice. I cut my dick off. Run. Run. I'm too high for your weight. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, all right. So the next level. Come on. Perfect. Yeah. Opa. First, we're gonna check your weight. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um, last time you had a total weight of 100 kilograms and now it was 92.8 kilograms. So that's already really good. And 7.2 kilograms less. So here we can look to your fat percentage. Last time it was 31.2 uh, uh, and now it's 26.8 percentage. So six kilograms of fat, that, uh, it's a race. So that's really, really good. The dot is coming closer. Still a bit lost, but... Getting closer to the purple lines. Right. So it's good actually. Yeah, it's, it's good. a good scan. It's a good scan, but Shit. it's still 
need to draw. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Happy? Yes. Yeah, I see it's happy face. Happy face. <laughs> That's good. Last time there was 80.6 of kilograms that you had, and this time you have 77.3. Okay. So there you lost 3.3 uh, kilograms. If you look there to the fat percentage, last time 17.6. Well, that was already quite good. And now yeah. what we see is that you're on a 12.3 percentage. So that's really, really good. Both of you. Thank guys, you. Thank you. Good luck. Keep training. Keep eating, but eating healthy stuff. And then still dropping uh, some weight from impossible. The possible is coming closer. Nice. Cool, man. Nice. <laughs> 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 Ten kilometers done. We're doing good. I'm excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm just hyped. Hyped to do this. I feel super healthy. I feel super in shape. And mentally, I'm actually in a good place because I'm working out. I'm eating healthy, and uh, it's just fun. Alrighty, let's go. Tomorrow is the big training with Frederick. So yeah, relax. Thirty kilometers. I actually love biking. Now it's weird. I'm a biker boy. You know what the funny thing is? In the beginning, it was so hard to train every day, and now the difficulty is to not train a day. You have to ask Rob, it's like, if you don't do a thing one day, it feels like a week, and you feel guilty. I was so unhealthy and unfit and hurt, and I had a feeling everything was going wrong. I had two ankle injuries, a shoulder injury. I was sick, flat tires, because I'm extremely heavy on the bike, so always had flat tires. Training is going super smooth, so yeah. Love you guys. Bisous. Yeah, let's get it. Fine show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loom today. We are at uh, Circuit Zolder. As you can see, this is like a racing track, which means we can use the speed monsters, the time trial bikes. We haven't used them on the road yet, so it's gonna be uh, interesting to see how we can handle the, the speed. Okay, boys, playtime is over. We bike 60 km, and immediately after the bike, we go for a 6 km run, right? Yes. Yay. Nice yeah. planga. You too. Thank you. <laughs> you too. You too. Thank you. <laughs> in the beginning we can ride together and then I will show you in triathlon you're not allowed to sit in the wheel so you have to keep like 10 meter distance between the two bikes. Ah, yes. So that's something we'll need to work on as well. So now guys, we go for Ironman pace, so stay focused, try to do it as good as you can. I'll take the time and then we'll see uh, if you can keep the steady pace, yes or no. Sure, believe. Right. And then after, straight into running. Exactly, yes. Three, two, one, and go! Arno is really relaxed on his bike, you can see he's just really comfortable, good position, looks good. Rob has a little bit his head up from time to time. It's the first time, you know, on their TT bike, so I think in the next couple of weeks they will get used to it and the position will get better and better as well. Now he's too close, that's a penalty, yeah. Too close! Huh? What's that? You're too close, eh? that's a penalty, eh? Yeah, yeah, penalty, penalty is oh, back. They're in my wheel. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. They're in my wheel. Oh, yes. No, no. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I've never seen a situation in a triathlon like this, but it looks good. Go, go, go! Don't lose time! So one kilometer, you go fast. The second kilometer, you do endurance pace. And then the last two kilometers is very easy and slow. All right, come on, man! Let's go, Arno! All right, come on! Okay. All right, come on! <laughs> yeah, that's another 20 seconds uh, lost. <laughs> good job, baby! Come on, come, on, come, on, come, on. come on, man, looking good, looking good. What's the pace? Four, that's too fast, but then the second kilometer you go a lot slower, okay? 530. 
How does it feel on the legs to run immediately after the bike? I like it, yeah. It's good. Your legs are warm. That's for sure, yeah. Pacing of, of Rob is good. I went too fast in the beginning. Yeah, you went way too fast in the beginning. <laughs> now you're okay, but you went way too fast yeah. in the beginning. Only 41 kilometers to go, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine three months from now. Imagine people doing that. Imagine it would be such a stupid idea. Fuck <laughs> them! What a wonderful day in Belgium. It's good now we know we've had all the weather conditions. What the fuck? <laughs> I love Belgium. Welcome to Belgium. Sun, wind, rain. This is amazing. <laughs> I love Belgium. Good job, guys. I'm uh, really proud of you. You made some good progression. What I saw today makes me happy. Come on. <laughs> From now on, it's full gas towards Iron Man. You have less than three months to go. So if you want to watch the next episode, if you want to follow the journey, okay? Give it a thumbs up also. Subscribe. And then most importantly, I don't know, please. Post notification squad. Oh. You got it? I got it. Okay. Oh, my, man. Well, I was done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>